so in this section uh, we are going to uh, create the react native application using expo so if you don't have the node.js installed in your system the first uh, go to the and install this node.js okay then uh, if you go to go to this expo.dev slash tools website right you will find uh, this particular command line right to install the expo globally so go ahead and install this uh, npm install globally okay uh, using the command prompt i already installed so i am not installing again but if you did not have this expo go uh, in your system then please install that one so as i told you this expo uh, is a very fast and very easy build tool in order to create the react native application and uh, once you install this right as i told you uh, you can run your project with the expo go application so first uh, uh, you have to search expo go on uh, app store if you are using ios or a uh, google play store if you are using the android and go ahead and install this particular application in your mobile devices okay so that you can directly test uh, your uh, application directly in the mobile while you are doing the coding and everything right so i will tell you how to do it once you do it right uh, make sure you are ready everything and then we will create the application right but make sure you will install this particular angular cli okay in order to create the application then just type on google expo create app okay and it will open uh, first link you can open it right and here you will find the step by step guide in order to uh, create the applications so let's copy this one and uh, go to your uh, folder where you want to create the application open the command prompt and uh, once you are in the command prompt right just uh, paste this particular link so it's saying npfs create expo app okay once you enter it uh, it will ask you the project name okay so here you can write proceed yes and it's ask your application name so in this case i will say uh, edu education app okay and enter it and it will uh, download install all the dependency which need uh, need to be to create this react native application okay so it will take some few minutes it created and uh, it's saying your project is ready right now in order to go uh, into a project just run this one cd and education app so you, you will be in the project uh, directory and in order to open the vs code just type code space start okay it will open vs code uh, with this project okay so for this one uh, to create the react native application we are using the uh, visual studio code okay so if you see right our project is open in a vs code okay and these are the, all the files i will explain this all the file structure and everything and we will run this application as well uh, so now we will run the application okay so before that let's uh, walk through the all the files and project uh, folders that we have uh, in our project so if you see right uh, these are the asset uh, this is the asset folder and it includes the all our images video or any other files right which uh, we need in the application so we keep everything in the asset folder basically uh, it includes the images or video mp3 something like that right then node module you can ignore that one for now in the app.js right uh, this is the starting point for our application right now if you see right uh, this is the view so view is nothing but whatever is showing on the screen right and if you know in the web development we have div tag right so it's something kind of similar so view tag is uh, in order to the view name itself did not to show on the screen right that's why it's view and in the text tag right it we show this particular text okay and just ignore this one for now then we have this app.json which include the configuration of the applica our application right so you can include the name of the application okay the version number of the application then the orientation right now obviously we are uh, working for the portrait mode and the icon of the application as well right if you have splash screen for the application that also be uh, uh, is included in the app.json so if you want to change it you can change it from here okay then 
uh, for the android and ios we have we can set the configuration the package uh, name and everything right so everything uh, we will see in the detail when we are going to publish the application then we will touch this particular app.json file in babel.config.json uh, right now uh, just ignore this one and then it's come to packet.json so it packet.json uh, it include the, all the dependency which we need for the application uh, so when we create this application this uh, couple of uh, few uh, dependencies already installed right if you see the expo status bar react and react native is already installed and also these are the script to in order to run the application in various uh, environment okay now let's try to run the application so first of all let's go to uh, terminal and in the terminal click on new terminal okay and in order to run the application just type expo start okay so on the right hand side you will see this uh, so on the so on the right hand side here this is the my mobile screen which i mirror on the uh, desktop so that you can able to see what I am doing and okay so let's go to this uh, localhost 19002 okay so if you see right once we run this export to start we will get this QR code okay and also uh, this is the local URL uh, which you can open it right in order to run the application now on the left hand side you will see uh, you can run this application directly on the Android device simulator for that you need to install android studio okay and from there you can run uh, start your emulator same for the ios if you have uh, ios device and if you have ios emulator in your pc then you can run it okay then you can publish from application from here uh, so locally on the internet you can publish it but all of this we will uh, discuss later in this course right now what we have to do uh in order to run this application on your mobile devices here in the connection type you have to select the tunnel okay so once you connect the the uh, connection type as a tunnel and then you have to go to our android device right so so here right uh you have to install this expo go app from the app uh, play store so right now i'm using the android de device so if you have iOS device, you can install from uh, the Expo Go app from the uh, App Store as well, right? And then just open this App Store, okay? And once you open, it will ask you to log in or create the account. So just do it, right? And then same account you have to log in it um, on your application as well, right? If needed. Once you run the application, right? And once you open the Expo Go app, you will see these two options, right? Where you can your app name and everything will be there right and this is the url uh, in order to open the application right so let's just click on the second um, url right and if you see here when you select the tunnel type right you will get this expo and the some url right so that url will only open in the expo application so just click on that one and it will take some uh, few seconds in order to download the application in your mobile and then build the application right so if you see in the bottom it, it's a few minutes later so our app is now loaded completely right um, and this build is completed and if you see on the screen we are able to see the open up app.js to start working on the app so this text is written in app.js if you see here right this text open up app.js to start working on your app right so this particular text is uh, written in between this text tag right and text tag which is imported from this uh, react uh, native if you see right this one now if you are remove this one and then replace with something else right subscribe to jib guruji channel right and if i save it instantly it will reflect in your application right remember i am running this application on my mobile device i just mirror it, uh, it to my pc right so this is the sub, uh, mobile view only okay so if you see instantly it it get changed right in no um, delay or anything 
and this is how it works second thing um, before um, end of this particular section i just want to tell you you know vs code there is one extension called uh, es7 plus react okay so let me increase the size if you see right this extension you have to install this extension in vs code this extension will help you to write the code much faster okay uh, so whenever you create one new component uh, you need your default template right so this uh, extension will help you to create that uh, default template very quickly so i will tell you in the next section how to use that one and also uh, from the next section we will start building our application and we will connect the firebase uh, with our application so that we can use the google sign in so watch this full, uh, full particular course and if you do not subscribe to my channel subscribe to my channel thank you